is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 volvo xc60 courtesy of younger volvo in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i am in this one today because there's actually several changes for the 2022 volvo xc60 also incredible seat design and i'll of course go over more on the seats a little bit later in this video but these seats are unlike any other seats that i've ever tested so i'm definitely a big fan of them so far IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest rating by IIHS. No surprise there, it is a Volvo after all. So ultimately in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering wheel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so specifically for the B5 momentum that we are in today, front wheel drive starts at $42,650. All wheel drive that we have today starts at $44,950. But regardless of which two of those configurations that you go with, the power plant on this one is going to be the same. Powering the B5 Momentum is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid battery system as well, producing a combined 260 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,800 RPM. Power sensor front wheels are all wheels through an eight speed automatic, zero to 60 time coming in at a approximately 6.4 seconds. You guys know we will be testing that out in a little bit here, but MPG numbers coming in at 23 in the city, 30 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 22 city, 28 then on the highway for the all wheel drive. But so now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the XC60 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 XC60 here up to speed. All right, you guys, and here we go. That's not bad. I'm digging it. And there was instant acceleration there, probably due in part because of the mild hybrid battery system that we have in this one. But yeah, that's plenty of an acceleration. Certainly not gonna have any issues in merging onto the highway. It's nothing crazy, don't get me wrong, but it's plenty for what this vehicle is, I'll put it that way. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 12.6 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, this is an incredibly safe vehicle after all. It's gonna come in at 118 feet. And so I put it that way because 118 feet from 60, you guys, is sports sedan good. That is a very quick stopping distance without a doubt. So definitely not gonna have any issues with bringing this one to a stop. Braking feel, having said that, it's a little bit on the side softer side but still that number speaks for itself that is an incredible stopping distance from 60 but anyways then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a devil wishbone type front suspension in the back integral link rear suspension as far as ride quality goes one of the first things i noticed ride quality is 100 percent on point this is an incredibly smooth ride here in the xc60 without a doubt and definitely enough to put the kids to sleep in the back when you're taking a long road trip to ocean city maryland as far as steering feel goes i would say it's just right for what the xc60 is it's definitely not a heavy steering feel but it's not really a loose steering feel either it's kind of right where it should be when you're talking about an suv like the xc60 so i've had no issues there either as far as cabin noise goes i'm currently going 55 miles per hour so you guys can kind of tell for yourself there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise or road noise coming into the cabin so that is certainly on point as well and so check on visibility it is excellent quite honestly i can see perfectly fine out the back so definitely not going to have any issues with visibility and to go along with that rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come standard and there is a head-up display that is available with the advanced package that goes for $2,500 by the way and it gives you a bunch of other things but we do have that package by the way so I am currently looking at the speed I am currently going as well as the speed limit and it's actually going to project some safety features up on your windshield then as well so it's kind of one of those things that better helps keep your eyes on the road so assisting with visibility yet again but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Volvo XC60. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Volvo XC60 finished in Silver Dawn. 
case anybody was curious of our exterior color name. But let's go ahead and start up front on the XC60 here because there actually is a slightly revised front end, including a slightly revised front grille. So you guys may or may not be able to tell. Reworked front bumper for the 2022 model year as well. Definitely looks very good in my personal opinion. LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights as expected coming standard on this one. Automatic feature coming with those headlights, meaning those headlights will turn on automatically for you when it starts to get dark out. But not only that, you also get automatic high beams coming standard. So when you flip on your high beams, if it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically then dim them back to low beams. And then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically put it back up to high beams for you. So it's just one less thing you got to worry about. So you got to love that. And overall, like I said, a very good looking front and to the XC60, but it pretty much rounds out the front. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, black roof rails do come standard. Chrome window surrounds also coming standard on this one. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will come with LED integrated turret signals and they will come heated actually as well. Gotta love that. Upgraded wheel designs for 2022. There's several of them, by the way, but the standard configuration for the wheels is going to be 18 inch five spoke alloys. We don't have them today. We actually have the one of the 19 inch designs that are available, but they do have 19 inch, 20 inch and 22 inch wheel designs that are optional. If you wanted to spec that out on Volvo's website. So I did want to mention that. And actually there's running boards available for the XC60 as well. That goes for $1,250 definitely don't need them with this thing i certainly didn't need them but they are available if you wanted to go that route but that pretty much rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the xc60 all right so starting all the way to the top there body color shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper you do have the volvo lettering of course spelled out horizontally definitely looks good there led tail lights as expected do come standard as well trim level badging found on the right side on the lift gate there and by the way t5 was last Last year's model B5 is going to be the 2022 model year. So I do want to mention that as one of the changes. I didn't mention it at the beginning, but you guys may have already noticed if you're familiar with Volvo, the T5 is gone because it got the mild hybrid system now for 2022. So they renamed it as B5. So in case anybody was curious about that, but I love that everything is body colored on the back end here because a lot of other manufacturers will leave at least the bottom portion of that rear bumper in a uh, matte finish. So I do love that it's body colored, but underneath of it all, there actually are dual exhaust outlets, of course, they are tucked away though but having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, so now since we are around to the back of the XC60, when it comes to opening the rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard. So like I said, it is hands-free, meaning all you need to do is simply walk up to the back of it and kick your left foot underneath the bottom of that rear bumper and it is going to automatically open up for you. There actually is a button on the key fob, on the side of the key fob, I should say, and also by the driver's side left knee then as well but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 17.8 cubic feet behind that second row at least if that was not enough space of course that second row does fold down bumping that then up to 63.6 cubic feet there is some cargo lighting back there there are grocery bag hooks there are tie down anchors there is a 12 volt power outlet there's a little bit of netted storage found on the left side as well and then if you actually lift up underneath that cargo floor you will find a spare tire underneath there as well and you could probably store like an ice scraper to the left to the right of that if you wanted to so there was a little extra space there as well but so then making our way up to the rear leg room that is going to come in at an even 38 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there there is rear ventilation for those rear passengers it's actually not found where you would think it's found on kind of towards the door handles in the back there. So a little bit different setup there, but anyways, rear center armrest with cup holders do come standard. There are dual phone charging ports back there as well. A little bit of storage just above that. Heated rear seats, you can actually get that with a climate package. It goes for $750 and we do have that with us here today. So it's always nice to spoil the rear passengers a little bit, but pretty much rounds out the back. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the front seats. Leather seating is gonna be optional. That goes for $1,400 if you wanted to go that route, but 
I gotta tell you what, we don't have the leather seating and these are some of my favorite seats I've experienced in quite a while. This is a, a weave textile fabric and it's gonna be available in either a black or blonde color. It's actually made of 30% authentic wool and 70% recycled polyester. So it's a very green seating blend, so to speak. And I absolutely love it. Not only that, I love the design to it. I like that it's not just a regular matte color. I like that there's a little bit of a blend to it. That's a pretty cool setup there. Power adjustable seats of course do come standard heated front seats also coming standard and definitely heated up quite nicely here in this 30 degree day in Hagerstown but overall seating was definitely plenty comfortable I had no issues with that then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and also it is heated and you gotta love that because I had it on the whole day today and it was definitely nice but anyways then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your Volvo logo on the one side nothing on the other side because essentially all of your buttons are located on the side of the key being lock unlock and that button to pop the rear tailgate so it is all keyless entry though with a turn knob start so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn that knob to the right to start it. In case you were curious, you also turn it to the right again to stop or shut off the vehicle. So just want to let you know. But anyways, once started up, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard. And this thing is absolutely amazing. And it's more customizable too than a lot of the other Volvos that are currently out, which I absolutely love. To control that, there are some steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side. So if you want to play around with that, there's a couple different configurations. There's your standard gauge cluster. It gives you speedometer on the left, tachometer is on your right. But then if you play around with it a little bit more, you can actually choose to display a full navigation system front and center within those gauges. And the best part about that navigation system is that Volvo is powered by Google. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but many manufacturers use a plethora of different companies, but Google has teamed up with Volvo. So you got Google Maps is what I was getting getting at there within the gauges and also of course on the infotainment screen if you want to display it there as well but we'll get more into that in a second but I love this gauge cluster and probably my favorite I've seen in a Volvo so far so well done Volvo for that but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality panoramic sunroof does come standard that goes all the way to the back best part about that panoramic sunroof is the way that you open it so if you want it to tilt you actually press in as you would expect on that button on the ceiling here but if you want it to open and close you swipe your finger back to open and swipe it back towards the front of the vehicle to close it it makes a lot of sense and it's something that i figured out very quickly because that's how it would make sense to me that it would work and it does work that way so i don't know I thought that was pretty cool. It was unlike any other way to open a panoramic roof that I've ever seen before. I'll put it that way. But home link controls are going to come with the advanced package that comes with the frameless rear of your mirror as well. And that's for up to three different garage doors. Wireless phone charger is going to be located just to the right of the shifter. Just behind that, you have dual cup holders. Within the center armrest, there is a relatively small amount of storage but it is there nonetheless and there's actually a couple phone charging ports within that then as well electric mechanical parking brake as well but overall interior quality is perfectly fine i loved that they continued the design of the seats onto the doors as well i think that looks dang cool and overall it's a very minimalist design you guys could probably see in front of the shifter there's maybe one two three four five six buttons seven buttons i guess if you control if you count that one big button underneath the infotainment screen but like I said, very minimalist design and I personally like it. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. It is a nine inch color touchscreen display. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Of course you do have navigation up there. Again, it is powered by Google Maps. Everything is powered by Google. So actually give you guys an example. You can actually say something like, hey Google, turn on the radio. Sure, here you go. And it's gonna turn on the radio for you. And I don't wanna get a copyright strike, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down. But essentially you could say, hey Google, anything, and it's gonna do it for you. So you see, you see what I'm talking about? It's trying to do it again. I'll help in any way I can. What can I do for you? You can also check out your driving statistics up there if you wanted to. You can check out your climate control settings, including your heated seat buttons, as well as your heated steering wheel all the way to the bottom then as well. And of course, you got your radio information. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems, the standard high performance sound system is going to be the regular configuration here. But there is an optional 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that goes for $800. It comes with 600 watts. We don't have that today. We do have the standard high performance sound system is how they label it as. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And 
let's test out the clarity of this one. Lose control, take control, anything you want tonight. On a it's actually really good. I can see why they can call that a high performance sound system. There was plenty of clarity, plenty of bass. Actually, that was a really good sound system. I don't know how many speakers because they didn't list it on the website, but it was a really good sound system if I'm being honest. But last thing I want to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen at least is when you do put the XC60 in reverse, you will find a very, very, very high definition rear view camera. Fortunately, it only takes up the bottom portion of the screen as opposed to the whole screen. I would have liked that better, but still, it's extremely high quality. And not only that, you do get a 360 degree monitor then if you were to go with the advanced package as well. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, like I said in the beginning, the XC60 is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag then as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard on the XC60 will be a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, autonomous emergency braking, collision avoidance assist with pedestrian, cyclist, and moose detection really they said large animal on the website but you know Volvo and Moose it kind of goes together after all driver attention monitoring system lane departure warning lane keep assist rear parking sensors and runoff road protection and runoff road mitigation then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts of the xc60 i love the seats on this thing in case i haven't said it in this video already i know i have i love the design to them and i love the fabric that is used these aren't your regular cloth seats these are so much better so gotta love that you gotta love the safety in all volvos as well it doesn't get any safer than the xc60 quite honestly very stylish exterior and interior of course as well the only constructive criticism I can think of with the XC60 is if you look at a Consumer Reports magazine, Volvo is kind of hit and miss in terms of reliability. And I think the XC60, if I remember correctly, was one of the misses. Not 100%, so go ahead and check out Consumer Reports if you wanted to verify that. But that's the only thing I got. Other than that, I'm a really big fan of the XC60. But let me know what you guys think of this thing in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay